Okay, folks, uh, Mr. Bullock here, and this is just some uh, general strategies on uh, taking the multiple choice part on the AP exam, so AP statistics exam. All right, so here we go. Uh, the AP stat, uh, the multiple choice counts for 50% of your AP score. Uh, you have 90 minutes to answer 40 multiple choice questions. There's no set of order of difficulty, although you may find that there's more easy questions near the beginning and harder ones in the middle, but there's no order of difficulty. Um, and about 10 to 15 questions involve content questions that involve uh, uh, statistical concepts with words, not numbers, so definitions and just wording on that. And so the rest of the multiple choice, so the, uh, the remaining 25 to 30 questions, they're the calculation questions that involve equations or numbers to calculate along with using some tables. So. Uh, we'll go through that. So the content questions, you guys, the, these do not deal with uh, math computation, you guys. They deal with statistical concepts expressed through words, uh, not numbers. You can identify these by just looking at the answer choices. So uh, because they're all verbal answers, they don't have any numbers involved with them or any equations involved with them. These can be answered fast because there's no calculating. If you know your statistics and your and your knowledge and your language, uh, they can they can be answered really fast. So there's going to be about 10 to 15 of these type of questions, and and so uh, try to go through and answer those ones first, you guys, because those ones are pretty fast. If you don't know how to do them, we'll talk about uh, some educated guesses in a little bit. The calculation questions, these guys uh, involve your math skills and and make up the majority of your multiple choice part in the AP exam. Since these typically require your math knowledge and know-how with formulas, they tend to take you some more time. So even if you know how to use these, you're often required to flip back and forth between formulas because they give you the formulas, you guys, and tables and the problems to answer these questions. Uh, so this uh, takes some time, but but you you know you can do it. So these can easily be identified by the equations or the number values and all the answer choices. All right. So to increase your multiple choice strategy. Uh, the problem is most test takers, they start with question one and they diligently work through and order through the exam until they, the, the end of the exam or they just run out of time, whichever comes first. And a lot of times they just run out of time because they get bogged down on one, to, on one or two kinds of problems on there. And the problem with the strategy is students just often run out of time because they get stuck on some problems that are more difficult and time consuming. So when that happens, you're not only missing out on the harder questions towards the end, but by running out of time, you don't even get a chance to answer the easier questions at the end. So then you just end up getting a lower test score. So so don't use this strategy by going through and start with one, then do two next, then three next. Don't use that strategy. So uh, each question is worth the same, you guys. So whether it's at the beginning or towards the end. So since you have 90 minutes to answer 40 questions, make sure you don't spend too much time on any one problem. Answer these questions that take the least amount of time first. So go through, answer the quick ones first. Uh, that way you're not going to get bogged down on any one question. Uh, and you're making sure you're getting the easy ones all the way through the test. And that way you don't miss any uh, easier ones in the later on, on part of the test. Answer the questions that you know how to do first, especially the content questions. This means you, you should not answer uh, in consecutive order, but in the order of your ability. Then go back through and answer those that you know how to do, but may take you some more time. So go through, get the quick ones out of the way, and then make another run through it and get the ones that uh, you know you can do, but just take you a little bit more time. And then uh, and then go through and start tackling the more challenging ones. Okay? There's no overall pattern to how the multiple choice questions are presented to you, you guys. They don't have any order. Uh, there's no order of difficulty. Easy ones are the ones that you know how to do. The medium ones are those that you might know how to do, and the hard ones are the ones that you just gotta you gotta take good educated guesses on. So uh, first, get the ones that you know. Make a run through the test and get the one the quick ones that you know how to do, and then go back through and get the ones that you might know how to do. It'll take you a little bit more time. Okay, on this one here, you guys, I'd run through, get the ones that the quick ones I know how to do, run through and get the other ones that I know how to do. That'll take me a little more time. And then when you got the ones that you all the ones that you know how to do, then then tackle this one, the ones that you you think you might know how to do. And then I wouldn't tackle the the, the hard ones until the very end, you guys. So the hard ones might be you know in the beginning, might be in the middle, might be towards the end. Uh, uh, just don't uh, uh, wait till the end to uh, get to the end on that. I'm sorry if that makes sense. So guessing on there, there's no penalty in guessing. Try not to leave any blank. And what I would do, my strategy on this is is if um, if you can't eliminate some answers, and most of the time you can, but if you can't eliminate some answers, 
I would stick with a, a particular letter, and, and that way you're not trying to chase the correct answer all the time. You let the correct answer chase you. So, so if you were just randomly guessing, I'd stick with a certain letter. But oftentimes, you can eliminate some answers, you guys. So if you can eliminate some choices because they are bad choices, they just don't fit the problem. Like, for example, uh, I was dealing with some graphs in my class, and one of the choices was it's skewed on both sides. Well, there's no such thing as being skewed on both sides. So that would be a bad choice you can toss out of there, you guys. So if you can toss some qu uh, choices out, then you're making a great educated guess. So um, uh, even without even knowing the correct answer, you're making a good educated guess on the remaining ones. And educated guesses are just free points for you guys. So, so um, uh, try to eliminate some answers, you guys. Okay, And remember, you don't have time to ponder every single hard question. So trust your instincts. And by doing that, you can help yourself from getting bogged down and wasting time on any one problem. Okay, you might not get every educated guess correct. In fact, you probably won't, but, but your goal is to get as many correct as you can. Uh, taking an educated guess gives you more time to answer the questions, you guys. So don't worry about being perfect, you guys. You want to get your goal is to get a four or a five. And remember, the multiple choices is half of your test. The other half is the free response. So and in many cases, a three is good enough to get you into the colleges you're looking at. So go through the test. Answer. I'm just repeating myself. Go through the test. Answer those questions that are easy and fast. And then go back through and answer those ones that you can do but takes you a little bit more time. And then go back through and try tackling those tougher questions, making good educated guesses, eliminating some choices right there. Listen, you guys, relax. I've never, ever had a student, I've been teaching for 27 years, and never had a student come back and tell me, golly, Mr. Bullock, my life would have been so much better had I scored higher on the AP exam. Not one. You guys are going to be great. You're going to do great. You're going to go to college. You're going to have a great career. You're going to be fine, you guys. Just relax. You're going to do great. Take care.